something comes up, and it's just poof, you're gone. Always, always running away by yourself. It's not like that. Not like what? Like I said back in Halur. I'm not talking about Halur. If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me. I think you've got other people who'll listen to you. Huh? Guys! Carol, I'm so glad you're safe. Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there. I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri... Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? He... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Let's... let's take it easy on the way back. It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind! I'm coming! So air is more than just a handy substance for making Blastia work, huh? Oh, the questions amateurs ask, I swear. Air affects everything in the world. Our own bodies, the growth of living organisms, even the weather. So the Blastia in Rago's palace that controlled the weather was interfering with the air? Correct. So then, that means the air here is interfering with the processes in our bodies. I mean, I can handle it, but is it really a good idea for us to be in air this dense? We shouldn't stay here too long, especially runts like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Huh, guess that makes sense. So I've finally found you. That's far enough. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, princess, right this way. Huh? What does he mean, princess? The princess standing right here in front of us. Y Yuri, but how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita, you too? Wait, you've got to be kidding! And what will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Please, wait! I wasn't abduct- Oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Estelle! Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit, Yuri Lowell, and his accomplices! You! The Swan Brigade! Just a minute. This prize catch is mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Catch? Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. <laughs> Did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? <laughs> I suppose I can let you have these little worms. If it isn't Schwan, it's Flynn. 
These upstart commoners are so full of themselves, even that commandant. This way, please, your highness. Do watch your step. Um, but I... Yes, right this way. Arrest them! In the name of Captain Schwan! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang, it's curtains for you, I say! What do you mean, gang? Hey, hey! Get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? But I haven't done anything! Don't hurt them! I beg you! Estelle, don't worry. Yuri! Just start walking! Walk, I say! Ow! Hey, watch it with the pulling! Sir Schwan, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. All members, fall out! Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Please do. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? Wow, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedleay? That's right! I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you. How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. I wonder what'll happen to me. So I'll write, you have no signs of remorse in the report then. Where's that do-nothing captain of yours anyway? What was his name? Schwan? Playing hooky because he's the big shot. You dare mock our captain. So Schwan is a legendary hero and a veteran of the Great War ten years ago. So basically his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. Quiet, I say. Quiet! Getting on to your next offense. Your Excellency, Commandant Alexei, to what do we owe this pleasure? Alexei? What? All your crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses Esteles and Yoder. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire! The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Please, take this. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the Knights. I see. What about Estelle? She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial Capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. I was so surprised to find out that Estelle was a princess! I had a feeling. She knew Flynn, and she was obviously brought up as a noble. Shut up. You knew already. Maybe. Oh, man. I wonder if I was rude to her without realizing it. Your language has been unpardonable. Captain Carroll, the sentence for insulting royalty is... Decapitation. Been nice knowing you. What about you? You're way more rude than I am. Guess it's off with both our heads, then. What? Th that's... Idiots.
So Estelle's going back home, huh? You don't have a problem with this, Yuri? It's not my decision to make. Well, I guess that's true, but... More importantly, where are we? This is the city of Heliord. Geographically speaking, it's located between Torum Harbor and the city of Dongrest. It was only just recently built. It's still a very new town. If you follow this road to the east, you'll hit Kerr Bakram, where we were earlier. Cut through the west, and go to the northwest to reach Dongrest. I see. Well, maybe I'll have a look around the town a bit. I've got my own business to attend to. Hmm, what to do? It's Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Don't call us that! Something I can help you two with? Even if you have a direct pardon from His Highness Yoder, I say that does not change the fact that you committed crimes against the Empire! As members of the Imperial Knights, our honor will not allow us to simply let that slide. Yuri Lowell! You will battle with us here, I say, fair and square! If you beat us, we'll recognize you as innocent of your crimes. Don't make claims you can't back up. Since when did you two have the authority to forgive people their crimes? Regardless, we must battle. Battle! If that's what it takes to make you happy, I guess I can humor you. Excellent! Come with us! the Imperial Knight's ultimate fighting technique, the Burst Art! Again, you're claiming regular techniques as your own. That doesn't belong to the Knights. I say be quiet! The Burst Art, huh? I've heard of it before, but... You don't know how it's done? You fool! I say we shall show you. But before that happens, you'll be reduced to no more than a worthless caterpillar crawling on the ground! Rah! I say... Rah! Maybe it has something to do with over-limit. Go! Show him how it's done, Atacor! I say watch me now! The arcane art of the Imperial Knights! It didn't hit him! What are you doing? Huh. Burst arts can be linked from an arcane art. I wonder if I could imitate that. <laughs> There's no way an amateur could do something like that, I say. And now, over-limit! I'll blow you away! Ah, be careful! Yuri Lowell's going to attack! Arcane Art! Take this! Ah. You're dead! Ah. Ah. Divine Wolf! Ah. Ah. That's enough for today! Ah. First Art! I say, what a terrible... Turn of events! Ah, oh, yeah. We're not done yet! Oh, I see! Uh, Sonic thrust! Uh, 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 Azure Edge! Uh, That's enough for today! Azure! Azure! Uh, uh, Alright! Uh, Azure Edge! Uh, Azure Edge! Uh, 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 uh,
We're done. Man, nothing like some good exercise before turning in for the night. I guess I'll hurry back to the inn. Ah, oh, so both of you were here the whole time. Yuri, 
Watch your speech in front of His Royal Highness. You could at least show due courtesy to the gracious pardoner of your crimes. It's okay, Flynn. Miss Esteles and I acted of our own volition. You've already heard about Lady Esteles, then, I see. Yeah, I heard. Yuri, I thought that traveling with you would be to Her Highness's own benefit, but... The royal family can't be allowed to romp all over the countryside without restraint. That's not very convincing coming from you. <laughs> I apologize. But now especially, it's undesirable for the royal family's concerns to be brought into the public eye. Concerns? You mean whether you or the princess is next in line for the imperial throne? Correct. There are currently two opinions. That of the imperial knights, and that of the council. Your Highness! There's no use hiding any details from him when he already knows so much. The Imperial Knights are backing my own ascension to the throne. Meanwhile, Miss Estelise has the support of the Council. She's a princess after all. Yes. Her relation may be a distant one, but she's unmistakably of royal blood. That's gotta be tough for the Knights, too. Even if she's the rival of their candidate for the throne, it's not like they can just stop protecting the princess, is it? Yuri, this matter is... I don't know anyone odd enough to be interested in information like this. Well, I'm gonna go drop by Esteliza's place, and then I'm gonna take a load off at the inn. Thanks for the chat. to see Esteles. She seems to be asleep already. We could still talk tomorrow. Right. Why don't we all return to our rooms then? What's the matter, Repeat? Do you guys hear a strange sound? Now that you mention it, yeah. Oh, I've been hearing that the Barrier Blasty has been acting up lately. Hey, hold your horses. I can't. Commandant Alexei is there, isn't he? He should be able to take care of it. Rita, if we let you go out on your own, it'll be just another repeat of a Meat Hill. Well, if you want, we could at least let Flynn know about it. It's been a while since the Imperial Knights have interrogated me. Forgot how tiring it was. Even the Princess and His Highness Yoder got involved. <coughs> and two captains and the Commandant. And with Flynn here too, they're leaving the capital totally defenseless. Pretty sloppy work. Knights have made some repairs on the Blastia here. Give the Knights some credit for once, will you? Please, Rita. All right, then. It's okay for you to be wandering around like this? Yes, but can I stay with you until it's time to return to Zophius? I don't mind at all.
What do you think that scary monster we saw in Ker Bakram was? That beast was way tougher than anything I've ever seen before. If it didn't run away when it did, we'd have been in a world of hurt. That's a surprisingly cautious opinion coming from you. Not that I disagree when it comes to a monster like that. Do you think it was the hunting blades who trapped it in a reverse barrier? Yeah, probably. It looked like they came to take that monster down. And whatever the case, I don't want to meet up with a monster like that again. Barrier Blastia has been making some odd noises. Do you think it's okay? You came all the way here because you were worried about that? As always, Yuri, you can't leave well enough alone if you see anything amiss. Hey, it's not me. She was the one that... It's obvious that something's not right with that Blastia. Let me have a look at it. This Blastia is currently in a state of repair. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to examine it. Why? What was that vibration? Don't tell me that was the Blastia. Maybe something's happened to the Blastia. Let's get out of here. Your Highness, you must stay here. saying you're just as worn out as she is prepare rooms at once i'll take her there myself carol can you stand yeah come on we're going to
C come in. You can't keep using your healing arts on her forever, Estelise. Come on, let's let her rest for now. Yes. I can't believe she had to go and do something like that. Yes. Once Rita chooses to do something, she won't listen to anyone else. You're one to talk. You were just as bad as she was. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stay here. You should go rest. Aren't you tired from using your healing art so much? I'm jealous of Rita. She has something she cares about so much. And so can you, if you spend enough time looking for it. But you need to go and get some sleep now. No, I'm fine. Yuri, you should get some sleep yourself. Flynn will get mad at me if you pass out. So let him get mad at you. Look, don't come asking me to take your place when you collapse from exhaustion. I can't ask you to take my place if I've already collapsed, can I? You must think I'm totally useless. After what happened when you first met me, and at Kerbakram, and today. I think everyone freaked out today. Even the Great Commandant was pretty in over his head. There are lots of things even grown-ups can't do. Even you, Yuri? Yeah, I guess so. It's a tough world. Now you got the idea. Hey, Yuri? Hmm? Do you think you'd want to maybe start a guild with me? A guild, huh? Yeah, that's an idea. I'll think about it. Really? What, you're surprised? I thought you'd say, no way! I've been in enough messes already! Or something. Not all adults think like that, you know. Anyway, it's late. Let's get some rest and see how she's doing in the morning. Come in. Glad to see you're awake. And after I told her over and over to call me before she collapses. You didn't think she'd really listen to you, did you? <sighs> she looks happy. Hey, so... What do you think Estelise thinks of me? Why are you making that face? I just didn't think you were the kind of person who cared what other people thought. Forget it. You can go now. Compared to those formulas of yours, she should be easy to figure out. Huh? Huh? Rita! You're awake! But be careful. It's just when you think you've recovered that you're in the most danger. It's alright. I'm fine. Also, 
You don't need to pretend to be using that Blastia anymore. I... What do you mean? It's pretty cool that you can use healing arts without a Blastia. But... But how did you... What the... Hey, it's that dragon freak! Rita, are you all right? Don't you ever learn? It sounds like the sky is falling in here! What's going on?! What was that thing?! Just when the conversation was getting interesting. That's enough talk about Estelle's healing arts for now. Fine by me. I've pretty much figured it out anyway. Don't look at me like that. Do I really look like that much of a bad guy to you? Yes. <laughs> hey, wait! What's going on, you guys? Come on, tell me! Well, take care on the way back to the capital. Okay. Do you have everything? Wouldn't want to have to come back later. If I forget anything, you'll bring it to me, won't you? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's go find Flynn. I'll take you that far. Uh, um, what are you all gonna do after this? Hmm, well, we did lose track of the Blood Alliance. That's easy! We can just go to Dongrest! Or not. Man, if I go back there now, they'll all just laugh at me. Dongrest? That's the Guild City, right? Yeah. I thought we could find out about the Blood Alliance there. What direction is it from here? Well, it's to the west, I guess, but... Let's check it out, then. Might be helpful for anybody thinking you're starting a guild, too. Huh? For starting a guild? Well, let's go, then! It doesn't seem like that Flynn character is around here. Does that mean you're staying with us for now? Well, I... Would that be all right? Carol, don't fill the princess's head with ideas. You cannot simply do as you wish. Your Highness must return to the capital. Flynn has already set out to tend to other business. Now then, Rita Mordio, we would like you to investigate yesterday's Blastia malfunction. That's pointless. I looked at him this morning, but I couldn't figure anything out. No, we would ask that you go to the forest of Cave Mock. Cave Mock, huh? Oh yeah, the plants affected by the disaster here look just like the ones in that forest. We have reports of tree mutations, and of monsters increasing in both number and aggressiveness. Messengers have gone to the capital, but much time will be wasted finding a gifted mage. I specialize in Blastia. Plants are out of my league. Consider that connection to the air. I imagine that is within your league. Besides, I... If Estelle is going back to the capital, I want to go with her. What do you mean? You are a researcher in an Imperial Blastia laboratory. You must undertake the tasks assigned to you. Um... Then there should be no problem if I accompany her to the forest, right? Princess, please do not make suggestions that are simply out of the question. If this does have something to do with air, then my healing arts would prove useful. Yes, they would. Please, Alexei. Let me do my part to help. Your Highness, I simply cannot allow you to go to such a dangerous forest. Well, what if... Yuri, would you come with us? Me? 
If Yuri were to come, you wouldn't be worried, right? Young man, please escort the princess. I ask this of you only because you once sought to join the Imperial Knights. Of all the underhanded... I didn't ask anybody to count on me. You're pushing me into this. It seems I can take that reply as indication of your agreement. But there's something I have to do as well. We go to the forest after Dungrist. Very well. Your Excellency. It seems Flynn foresaw this outcome. Huh? He did what? He left this message for you. Take care of Her Highness. All right then! It's the Forest of Cave Mock by way of Dongrest! I have a job for you. I'm glad that Commandant Alexei turned out to be so reasonable. Yeah, I thought he'd be more of a stubborn jerk myself. Had you met him before, Yuri? I knew him, but I doubt he knew me. I was barely in the nights for any time at all, really. What sort of person is he, I wonder? He can be very formal at times, but in a way, he's something of a symbol for the Knights. Many who are in the Knights now were inspired to join by Alexei's example. <laughs> One thing's clear. I don't have much in common with him. My hometown! Looks like a pretty lively place. Well, it's the second largest city after the Imperial Capital. It's run entirely by the guilds. I thought it'd be more dark and dank, you know? Like a den of villains. That's just a prejudice people have about the guilds. I'm sure the bad reputation of the Blood Alliance is to blame for that. Yeah! Jeez, Yuri, you make it sound like I'm a villain. If you're a villain, what does that make him? Point taken. So, how should we go about tracking down Barbos? The best way is probably to stop by the Union and check there. The Union. A guild collective run by the five so-called Master Guilds, right? Yeah. The Union also serves as the city's government. But how is this gonna work? Isn't Barbos's Blood Alliance one of the five master guilds? Which means if we lay a hand on him, we'll be picking a fight with the Union as well. We won't know the answer to that until we ask the Dawn. The Dawn is the boss of the Union, isn't he? Yep. Dawn Whitehorse, leader of Altosk, the most powerful of the five master guilds. All right, let's go see what the Don has to say then. You know the way, right, Carol? Hey, wait. He's not the kind of person you can just meet. I don't really know if... Please? Union headquarters is in the north part of town. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, what are you doing? What? Uh, n nothing. Hmm? Well, well, if it ain't little Carol. What the hell are you thinking coming back here? Hey, what's with you? Yeah, I don't see Nan. She already did you? <laughs> no way! She wouldn't stop nagging, so I took off. This would explain why Carol wasn't too eager to go to Dongrist. So are you the latest guild to take him in? You could do a lot better than that, loser. All this kid can brag about is the number of guilds he's joined. Oh, right. That's a bad thing. Are these your friends, Carol? You could do a lot better than these losers. W what did you say? Such undignified men. Shut up. You sure have a way of saying things. I mean, you're right, but... Yeah, you just keep talking. What's that sound? Damn it. They're back again. Come on. The alarm. Monsters are here. Monsters? Oh, wait, is this shaking the monsters' footsteps? If so, they've brought quite an army. Yeah, but don't worry. Even if there have been a lot of monsters around here lately, our barrier here is strong, and it's never been broken before. And the guilds take care of the monsters outside the barrier. Huh? Oh, crap! The barrier... disappeared? What the hell is going on? The monsters are gonna get inside! Damn it, why do things like this always happen to me, no matter where I go? You gotta be cursed. Maybe. Yuri, we have to go stop the monsters.
of their own free will and joined a guild. <laughs> there ain't a soul in this town so spineless they go running to you guys for help. But... These are the rules of the life we've chosen. It's up to us to make sure those rules don't get broken. Holding to your beliefs no matter what's at stake. So that's what a real guild is like. Hey, you there! Lead the way! I have a name, you know! Where are we going, anyway? We're going to repair the barrier, Blastia. If we don't, the city will be overrun with monsters! You're coming, too! I guess that's my only option. The barrier failed right as the monsters appeared? What the hell is going on in this city? I've lived in Dongress my whole life, but I've never seen anything like this. So why the hell do we have such terrible timing? How should I know? What? You don't really think I'm cursed, do you? Too late. This is so horrible. Out of the way. Hmm. I might be able to do something with this. Rita, watch out! Behind you. We won't let you fix the barrier. What the hell? It's just one thing after another. I'm sick of this.
Looks like we have those guys to thank for the barrier Blastia failing on us. But why? Looks like you've got your hands full over here. So the Don's little lecture didn't stick? I'm just doing what I can to help. How's the repair of the barrier Blastia going? That'll depend on our genius mage here. The core is still there. They just fiddled with your formula a bit and stopped it, didn't they? What the... This is... an amplifier? And this formula again. The same as they were using back on Emmed Hill. The barrier disappeared when the monsters attacked. It can't be a coincidence that they happened at the same time, can it? Probably not. So does your appearance here mean this is tied up with all the Empire's problems? I don't know. That's why I came here to check things out. That goes there, and this goes here. That's our Rita. All right, time to clean up the monsters outside the barrier. The guilds won't be able to complain if we fight monsters outside the city. We'll leave the monsters to Flynn. Let's go to the Union and ask about Barbos. You really trust Flynn, don't you? Only because there's no one else I can trust. That's how I look at it. Yuri, I don't get you sometimes. How many guilds are there in this city? I don't know the exact number, but I think there are more than a hundred. Whoa, that many? Are all of them in the Union? <clears throat> nah, not all of them, but I guess around 90% of them are Union members. Wow, and the Dawn's at the top of them all. That guy's amazing. That's why he's the Dawn! What are you so proud about? The Dawn's the amazing one, not you. you all we need to talk to the dawn about something help us out could you it's a matter that concerns the five master guilds i haven't seen you around here recently what guild do you belong to uh, we don't belong to a guild exactly unfortunately the dawn has left town in pursuit of the monsters he went after the monsters yes he plans on taking out the monster nests in one fell swoop i see thanks for the information no worries. If I went and helped them, I could prove myself to the Dawn. Oh well, shall we go look for that information in town? What? We're not going to help the Dawn? So you know where the monster nests are then? Oh, good point. Since it seems like you won't be making progress anytime soon, I'm gonna go check out Cave Mock. How selfish! I just want to get it out of the way as soon as possible. Then does that mean Estelle's going along with you? Yes. I told Alexei I was going to go after all. Don't worry. We'll be fine between the two of us. Sorry, afraid not. If you got hurt or anything, Flynn would hunt me down and kill me. You're gonna go, Yuri? Well, we don't really have any good leads around town that we're following anyway. Then it's decided. Let's go to the forest of Cave Mock. Going to Cave Mock, are they? What a coincidence. Come to 
could think of it, why was Flynn and Dawn grust? The Empire and the Union have never gotten along, so knights don't show up here often. I doubt they're here to see the sights either. It's gotta be tied up in one of their duties. Do you think Flynn's all right? Those guild people were being really mean to him. Flynn's no delicate little flower. He can take some heat. Don't forget, before he was a knight, he had to make it on the streets of the lower quarter. I hope you're right. a very different atmosphere from the capital, doesn't it? The city seems so energetic. Everyone here is so full of life. Of course! It's the largest guild city. Everyone lives according to their own principles. Do you like Dongrath, Estelle? Yes, I think it's lovely. What about you, Yuri? Hmm? I think it'd be a really great city if the barrier wasn't crapping out. Yuri, will you please let that go? I'm kidding. This city's not bad at all. It even feels kind of like the lower quarter. 